Hello, this is Motor Master, and uh, this is going to be another mod review, mod test. On this one, that's the, uh, this Arctic trailer here, the Pulpwood trailer. <clears throat> it's a Rebel modded uh, trailer. Got your typical triple axles on the back, which down in the south normally are just double axles. Or it might be a spread axle also. It's got LED lights all around. Airbag suspension. The uh, colors here you see in purple. Is, uh, you can change the colors of that. Your bolsters stay black. You got reflective tape all around it. You got some mud flaps back here. What I like about this trailer is unique is that you can move this bolster we got some uh, like this on our job you'd call this a plantation trailer if you ever watch my other videos and if you heard one of the truck drivers say belly load it means you uh, put some wood right here this is what you call the belly of it they tell you to back load it some you'd put it back here put about a quarter of the bunk full of wood and you drag your longer stuff you typically put your shorter stuff on the back and you bring the longer wood all the way up to the front and let it rest the tops of the trees let it rest what you have pulled up on the back here or what you have put up in the belly up here if you carrying logs, short logs, which means you have two bunks, you can get in here. As you can see, you can raise that bolster up. And in real life, what you do, you have this square piece. Instead of that actually raising up, you have a square piece that I, the loader hand, would have to put it in right here in these slots, and it'll pick it up raise it up some instead of the whole bolster raising up and that way your wood your logs when you put them up here they'll be level in other videos you see me use it as you know the short logs <clears throat> but here I'm gonna demonstrate on how to load it up belly load Set that down and get to loading it. If you just want it to hang off a little bit, you want to do like 12 meter cuts. What I was just doing, I was cutting 10 meters. I just backed it up to measure it. And it basically would uh, come out to about right here on 10s. So you want it to overhang a little bit, 12 or 13s. And then on your top up there, you can probably go all the way out to about 18s, 20s, and just bring it all over. If you're going to do something like this, and load it long log-wise, you don't want it to be as straight as possible. That's why I went and started cutting these trees right here. As you can uh, see, they basically straight. Whereas these hardwoods, they got a lot of crooks in it, and it doesn't pay as good, and it's a little bit more, I ain't going to say difficult, but it's a little bit of a headache to load. They won't load up evenly. Yeah, it can be a headache sometimes when you're loading it and your boom there is in the way. And you really can't see if your 
Wood is up on it. That is what you call belly loading it. in there and two twelves which that more than enough to do what I need it for demonstrations and I wasn't thinking when I started cutting into these there are bigger and now what you want to do is cut your other wood there 18s probably up to 20s and just drag it all the way up over these posters up to this front. Let's go ahead and try that. do like the legal stats on a road you can't have 15 feet overhang I'd say 18 20 really pushing it but 18 should be about that much of an overhang right there there's a legal limit on your highways one thing I didn't think about well let me go ahead and get a load fully loaded first bind it, it kind of lag up some or freak out and try to drag this wood down to the bottom of this.
This is the only log trailer that I found out it is like this. You know, it's kind of the most realistic, I guess you could say. It gives you a little bit more options, I guess. The pole trailer by what is that N L U or something? You can actually uh. Catch this one. I drop both of them. You can actually adjust the links on it. That's gonna be my next test, probably. Is to push some straight wood because on the other video I had, uh, I think it said cutting into the big woods or something like that. Title. You see it in the beginning, and I had a. some of those hardwoods on it, those crooked ones, and it just didn't, didn't do right. I mean, it loaded up and everything right. Just didn't look right, having a crooked wood on it. Take a look and see how this looks. other side and one on this side. It'd be nice if this uh, loader had a heel on it or make one of them have a heel. Trap. You know, that way FDR can have a, a range of equipment for different, uh, different stuff, different jobs. Like maybe put the heel on the Hitachi and not on the, uh, other ones
take my time on this one. Try to get it perfectly in there, which probably look like it's going to roll off. It might catch and stop. Touch the trailer. I'm over mistakes, so. Because you got a little bit of room on this side. And I do this little move, it should set it all right in there. Should have failed the way it's looking. Well, it's about to. It's done coming alive. We'll just throw this one on just for grabs and giggles. But without these last two I put on there, that's a good legal load. Everything else is starting to go above the uh, stakes here, or your bolsters. Let's go see how much this is. This probably won't be much compared to shorter logs. Again, this is how you belly load a trailer like this. But this is the only trailer I've seen that allows you that, to move that uh, second bolster up and down.
pot stacker don't really like longer wood looks like for the results and let's see what a belly loaded with some good wood load looks like how much it pays out there's not as much as logs will that was long logs right there which is kind of ridiculous because you get more board per feet out of longer logs than you would short logs the mill would just have to you know section it out and cut it more. Let's see, this has been a log trailer review right here of this Arctic trailer by Rebel Logging. Till next time.